everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so in this video, I will be talking about my Triple H and Stephanie figures. Um, a lot of people do not think that I like Triple H. I really do. Um, I just disagree that WWE is going to go with just one or the other. I feel like WWE is going to go with both Shane and Triple H. That's just how I feel about the situation. But anyways... We're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about my collection. So let's get started. Um, so what I did was I went off and I purchased all Stephanie's Jax figures loose. And then now I just have random Triple H figures from the 90s. I grew up playing with these with my siblings, my brother mainly. But um, these are a couple of the Triple H figures I'll be showing you. I only have... I think I have a couple Mattel, but mostly I have the Jax figures. Uh, the Jax figures difference is they don't have that thing in the middle, and their muscles are not nearly that big. Um, so let's uh, let's continue on. This is definitely a Jax figure, because um, like I said, you can tell by the way the stomach is built and the muscles on the arms, and the head scans totally different. So. Um, they're about to come out with another Triple H in China. Part of me wants to buy it, but the other part of me is like, that'd be too weird. Um, so, here's another one. And these were, a lot of these were in the couples contest I held on my, well, they're going to be in the next one. There was only one couple that ended up not being in, like, ended up being in it because of the fact that I did not have any more Stephanie figures. I... Went ahead and decided to go ahead and buy all my Stephanie figures so she would be included because it's not fair to her and Triple H. Um, but here it is. Here's another Jax figure right here. And, um, okay. So these are Mattel's. Of course, a lot of you know this one as the authority figure. One of them. Uh, this is Triple H. And I've got, this one is also a Mattel See, look, Mattel is made totally different from Jax uh, because of this part here, the torsos and all that. Totally different from Jax. Jax, I've heard from other customizers, are really hard to take apart and customize. That's just how they roll. <laughs> uh, here is a, I wouldn't say fairly recent because he is he actually has hair, but here's another... Uh, Mattel figure of Triple H, aka is Paul Levesque, which um, a lot of people have different opinions about him. My opinion is neutral along with Shane. I love both of them to death. I really hope that both of them take over. Uh, not just one or the other, because that's basically how neutral I am about the whole situation. Alright, so next I will be talking about my Stephanie Jacks. Class Jack specific figures. Here's one with the pink dress. Um, and yes, I do have the one with the blue dress. A lot of people said that the reason why they took her off the show is because she wasn't wearing undergarment. Uh, don't know what happened there. I don't know who wasn't paying attention when they were making her in the factory. But that's that's uh, that's how it was. But yes, I have both. I have both versions of the dresses. Um, I have this one, which is fairly easy to find. I see it on eBay all the time. She wanted to jump out of my hand. Um, this one's fairly easy to find. And this is the, the bottom part of Linda that I'm sure that came from uh, the custom that Shane made, the one that was in the McMahon Family uh, Deluxe Package or Family Divided. These are the legs that were used. Just wanted to verify that with you guys. This is the Slapping Stephanie. Uh, this one's not easy to find, but I got it for a good price. Um, a lot of these I purchased from friends of mine off of the wrestling community. Because that's where I do a lot of my purchasing. Because I don't trust eBay. Because incidents like today, I'm having to pay $1.90 for a package that I paid $5 for shipping for. I'm not too sure exactly how that works out, but it is what it is. I'll eventually get it. This one's not very easy to find. This one's uh, rather hard. 
This is actually the Jack's Classic, which I also have it hanging up in my room next to the Shane McMahon one, which is why I'm looking for the Vince one. Uh, this one's not very easy to find either. Uh, her and Triple H together in the package I've seen for $60. Um, so uh, there's this one. Um, here's the Stephanie Mattel figure. This is the only Mattel figure I have. I'm not a big fan of Mattel. But I still will collect their figures because that's all I, that's the only choice I have. Um, and then there's this Stephanie, which is rather hard to find loose. A lot of them I find in the package still. Um, so that's one of them. And then it looks like I'm missing a Stephanie figure. Maybe not. Uh, this one is also hard to find um especially at the women's champion i did end up a few years ago giving all my stephanie figures to scarlet for making me a marissa figure because at the time i had some people in my life that should have never been in my life and uh, they got me to hate stephanie and i really don't hate stephanie or triple h I really do love them as much as I love the rest of the McMahon family. Sometimes it's best to get those toxic people out of your life. So that's what I did and I'm glad I did it. Um, I think that's all my Stephanie figures and Triple H figures I have. Um, I might get a couple of customs done in the near future. But right now I'm going to be focusing on Shane and Marissa and Linda and Vince. I'm going to focus in on them. And once after I get everything done with them, then I'll... Move my focus back on to Triple H and Stephanie. I wanted to make this video to let you guys know that I love Triple H and Stephanie. I have their figures here. I don't have anything against them. So, um, just wanted to let everybody know that no hard feelings towards any of the McMahons. If I had hard feelings, trust me, it would come out. But I don't. Um... I'm going to keep on collecting the McMahon family, and as I've said, I have gotten hate towards it, and that's fine. Um, a lot of people collect wrestlers I am not a big fan of, but I don't go off and uh, put them down. That's their own collection. They've spent money on it. Um, a lot of people have made fun of me because if you go on my Instagram page, um, you'll see that I have a bunch of remakes of Shane McMahon like the Jacks Pacific classic figure slash the No Way Out. That's practically the same figure. Um, I've got a lot of his figures redone um, because friends and family buy me Shane McMahon figures for my uh, birthday and Christmas. So I mean that's why I have so many of his figures. Um, but I will try to see if I can get those made into custom so we shall see. Um, if you guys have social media, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Alyssa Owens915. Uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube videos. And as I've said in my previous video, on my Instagram page, I've left my email in case there's uh, communications that need to be back and forth between this is what I think you should do or anything. I mean, I left it on there in case... The McMahons ever look at my stuff and they want to email me rather than message me on social media because it is really hard for any of us to tell who is real unless it has a check mark. But um, it's very hard for us to tell who is real because I've had some Linda McMahon uh, profiles message me. I've had some Shane McMahon profile message me. I've even had Triple H and Stephanie ones message me and also I've had their kids fake accounts message me which I know the real one is Shane's sons I do follow him because he does flips on the trampoline which I do at Urban Air when I go um I've had several uh fake accounts of his message me and I'm just like you're not the real account because you do not have the trampoline videos bye bye um so I am aware of that there are a lot of uh, fake accounts out there. So that's why I left my email address in case they ever wanted to email me. Um, that's also hard to tell. But sometimes if it has, you know, 
a legit thing. Um, that might be easier. I don't know. But all my social media is public for them to see if they ever want to look at it. So that's why everything is basically public. Um, but like I said, you guys got any questions, concerns, comments, comment below or message me however you feel is comfortable. Um, I appreciate you guys for taking your time out and watching this video. I know my videos are not fun right now because I'm just new to this. I'm still learning. Um, I'm about to get some equipment for YouTube uh, to make my stuff better. And uh, I'm also about to get a new cell phone because this one has been acting up. It keeps saying my storage is full and it keeps stopping my videos. So um, hopefully I'll get a bigger and better phone. Um, so please bear with me. Do not hate me because I'm just trying to learn how to do this. It takes time to learn. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, and like I said, feel free to follow me and we can talk wrestling. Y'all have a great night.